pero wala namang masama kung hindi mo talaga maiiwasan ang face-by-face -face na construction. Professionals are well acquainted with deadlines. Alam nila ang value ng time sa isang project. Therefore, alam din nila ang value ng pera para sa project mo. Being in this industry, I have had many encounters with clients who plan to build their house, pero nag-back out or pinanghinaan ang loob due to budget limitations. If you are one of them, then this video is for you. Sa tuwing mapag-uusapan ng mga pangarap, palaging lumalabas dyan ang mga katagang gusto kong magkaroon ng bahay. At syempre, kakambal ng mga salitang yan ang salitang gastos. Dahil wala naman talagang libre sa mundo at kailangan mo talagang gumasto sa buhay este sa bahay para mangyari ito. At ito ang ilan sa mga tips na pwede mong gawin kung may pangarap ka. Pangarap na magpatayo ng bahay. Do it in one shot or one time big time. Architect, paano ka naman makakatipid sa one time big time? Good question. Isang paraan para makatipid ka talaga sa construction ng bahay mo ay gawin ito ng isang bagsakan. Bakit isang bagsakan? May dalawang immediate advantage ang isang bagsakan. First, para ma-secure mo ang materials sa current price niya. So if you are unaware, construction material prices fluctuate and they are very volatile. In Tagalog, malikot ang presyo nito. And historically, these material costs increases annually due to inflation and other economic conditions. Especially the prices of steel and cement, which are essential construction materials if you want a sturdy house. So for example, next year, balak mo magtayo ng bahay. Paniguradong may chance na mas mataas ang presyo ng bakal next year kesa ngayong taon. Kaya naman kung plano mo nang gumawa ng buhay, este magpatayo ng bahay. Pag-ipunan mo muna ito at iwasan mo ang face-by-face -face na style ng pagpapatayo. Yung tipong face 1, face 2, face 3, face 25. Another advantage of doing it in one shot or in one face is due to this item. The Contractor's Mobilization Fee Ang Contractor's Mobilization Fee ang sinisingil na contractor every time mag-uumpisa ang isang construction project. Ito ay para makapag-mobilize na sila or mag-umpisa na silang kumilos para itayo ang bahay mo. Thus the name, Mobilization Fee. Madami nakapaloob sa Mobilization Fee and it can include 1. Transportation of workers from where they are originally based going to the construction site. 2. Temporary facilities ng mga workers on a construction site, otherwise known as tempasil. Temporary facilities like storage or even yung lodging or barracks ng mga workers, kung saan sila matutulog at maglalagay ng mga gamit nila. In my experience, I guess every contractor has different ways of computing for their mobilization fee. You may ask your contractors for clarification regarding this. Always remember that information is key. This will matter lalo na kung medyo matagal ang gap ng phase 1 at ng phase 2. Lalo na kung nakauwi na yung mga workers from phase 1 at kailangan silang bumalik sa phase 2. So imagine doing your construction phase by phase. And every time the contractor starts a phase, you will be charged with a mobilization fee. So every time you start na construction, meron kayong mobilization fee. So every phase na gagawin niyo sa construction ng bahay niyo, magkakaroon kayo ng mobilization fee. Pero again, depende ito sa bawat contractor na makakausap niyo. So would you agree that doing the construction in one shot is very advantageous because you will be able to save on material cost and save on mobilization fees. My advice is that you build your house according to your budget. Pero wala namang masama kung hindi mo talaga maiiwasan ang face-by-face -face na construction. Nasa masusing pagpaplano lang ito. As long as matapos mo agad ang pagpapatayo nito in the shortest amount of time possible. In construction, that saying, time is gold, really applies. Kaya naman get a professional palagi. Kasi sila, they can project a timeline for you and they can also carefully plan things in order to meet the deadline and of course your budget. Professionals are well acquainted with deadlines. Alam nila ang value ng time sa isang project. Therefore, alam din nila ang value ng pera para sa project mo.